Hello baseball fans, hope everybody's doing awesome out there, staying safe. Haven't hit subscribe? Please do so. Brand new YouTuber here, so really appreciate your support. Best way you can do that is by hitting like and subscribe. And hey, gonna have prizes coming down the line for subscribers as well, so you'll get in on that. So, about a month, month and a half ago, <clears throat> I did a vlog about extending Alec Manoa. And I'm just gonna do a follow-up one, because I really believe... This is the off-season of extensions for the Blue Jays. That's right. First off, the big one. Vladdy needs to get extended. Check out my vlog about that one. 400 million bucks. Yeah, that's right. And next on that list, just as important, is Alec Manoa. And you might be saying, well, why Alec Manoa? Why not Bo Bichette? Why not somebody like Matt Chapman? Why Manoa? He seems a little young. Well, he's not as young as you think, and he's not as old either. He's 24 years old, so he was a little bit late coming out, and that's why we didn't have to stretch him out, luckily enough, when he came out of Vanderbilt and was already pitching a high amount of innings. He's going to be 25 next season, so the clock might be ticking for the Jays to take advantage of this during his prime years. And that's why I go out and say a six-year contract around 75 to $90 million isn't out of the range. I say six years, $80 million bucks, and get this deal done. It's going to carry him through his arbitration years, and yes, one, maybe two years after that, and to the age 30. And any pitcher after the age of 30 kind of takes a downhill. Pitchers, unfortunately, unlike batters, don't age as well, and there's not as many opportunities. And what I mean by that is, if you're a batter, you're hitting 300, you're fantastic. Say Vladdy turns 30, 31, I won't say this happens, and he starts hitting 270, hey, that's still pretty good, and he's going to be in the lineup. You get a pitcher whose ERA balloons from 3 to 5, not a good chance that you're going to be one of those starting 5. And talking about ERAs, let's look at Alec Manoa's numbers for this season. Impressive. Led the team in wins, went 16 and 7. A whip, .99, under 1. ERA, just over 2. This guy is the ace of the rotation, and that's why we got to take advantage, lock him up now, lock him up young, kind of like what the Tampa Bay Rays did with maybe Wander Franco, not for as many years, but that type of mentality. And this will keep his annual value down a little bit, so we're not signing him to $20 million a year contracts. And that financial flexibility, by signing Alec Manoa and extending him now for a lower annual value, allows us to have the financial stability to extend Vladimir Guerrero, to absorb Bo Bichette's contract, Alejandro Kirk or Gabriel Moreno, and the pieces that we already have, like George Springer, $25 million bucks, Jose Barrios, $20 million next year, and Kevin Gosman, $23. The Chase, well, Rogers is made of money, but they're not going to spend too, too much over $200 million. So there's going to have to be some compensation there. A little bit of who are we going to sign, how are we going to do it, and where are we going to pivot. And one of the best ways that the Jays can do that is by locking up Alec Manoa now, young, get him done through his 20s. Let me know what you think below. Do you think six years, 80 million bucks, a little too low? I'm thinking that. Some people might say it's high. Always appreciate your comments. Hit like and subscribe if you haven't already. And more importantly, hope everybody stays safe. We'll ramble on soon. Take care, guys.